My name is John William Varco of the Royal Australian Navy, but uh, you may call me Jack. I guess you're wondering why I'm sitting here dressed all formal. Uh, I'm quite embarrassed to admit it, but I'm just about to leave to see my... But I guess we best start at the start of things. I was born on the 20th of July 1887 at Baker Swamp near Wellington. I caught the train each day to attend Dubbo Public School. <laughs> How I love that train ride. We lived on the land, but farm life was not for me. I wanted to see the world and have a life full of adventures. So as soon as I turned 16, I enlisted in the Navy as a boy second class and, and commenced training on board the ship Tingara. All us lads in training became known as the Tingara boys. Initially, I learned obedience, seen the ship, and that everything had to be completed at double time. And everything was completed barefoot, even on frost cold days. Shoes were only worn when on parade, gunnery training, or when going ashore for Sunday divine service. I scrubbed and polished that ship every day from dusk till dawn. I had rope burns from shimmying up and down the rigging. I was so exhausted in the mornings, I could hardly lift my head to start it all over again. When was I going to travel the world? Shortly after my basic training was finished, I saw service on the HMAS Cerebrus, the, the pioneer and the destroyer HMAS Parramatta. The highlight of my career came in November 1917 when HMAS Parramatta went to rescue the stricken Italian steamer, the Orione, off the Italian coast. Uh, she'd been torpedoed and we were sent to rescue the passengers and crew. I boarded the Orione with the lieutenant and engineer to see if she could be salvaged. We decided she could be so, so set about securing her in tow. Then whoosh, <laughs> an enemy sub fired a torpedo and attempted to ram the Parramatta from underneath. We towed the Orione for three days, and during that time we endured a gale, minefields, torpedo fire and sub-attacks. Miraculously, no lives were lost. After this incident, you can't imagine my shock when told I was to receive the Distinguished Service Medal. For the way he assisted on board Torpedo Transport Orione, at his own duties as signalman, and with the horses taking the ship in tow. Of the 1,070 Tingara boys who served during World War I, I was the only one to receive this honour, and I was very honoured. I didn't believe anything could top this until Corporal William Darby from the Australian Imperial Army and yours truly were asked to model for statues for the new cenotaph to be erected in Martin Place, Sydney. Can you believe it? This boy from Dubbo Public School will have a statue of him in Martin Place. And that gets us back to the present day. I'm very honoured but embarrassed to go and see my statue unveiled. I'm sure I will never hear the end of it from the Tingara boys, but it won't be worth my while to be late. I'd best be off at double time. Thank you.